here are signs that you are not in control of the sales process. And when you're not in control of the sales process, you're going to, you're going to, you're well, one, you're going to, you're not going to make the sale because you're not going to, nobody is going to buy from somebody if they don't trust them, if they don't see them as an expert, they're not going to buy from you. If they see you as just another salesperson trying to close a deal, or they see you as an inept salesperson, which is mostly because you don't have any sales skills and you act like a techno weenie and you go out there and you don't have any, uh, you don't overcome objections or you don't handle price and you just kind of give this quote, they're going to waste your time big time. Or the, and they're going to take you and they're going to abuse you. They're going to just try and get a quote so they can go beat up the incumbent provider, or they're going to try and beat you down on price, or they're going to try and they're going to, they're going to one up you and renegotiate the deal. That is not good for you. And that is not good for them, by the way, PS, because if I go to a doc and I get a serious problem, I want to go to a doc that I respect that I admire and that I trust. And if I respect, admire, and trust a doctor, I'm going to, I'm going to listen to what that doc says. And when that doc says, we're going to do ABC, I'm not going to fight with the doc. The doc says you need a prescription. I'm taking that prescription. I'm filling it on the way home. I'm not, I'm not saying, well, I don't think I need all that, or I'm sorry, doc, I don't like taking pills. I'm going to follow that doctor's advice. And if I follow the doctor's advice, my chances of getting a good outcome go up. If I think I, I'm smarter than a doctor, you know, I don't like, I Googled that. You know, I Googled it. I don't think I need those pills, right? If I think I'm smarter than the doctor who specializes in, in, in curing cancer and I'm going to go rogue and not follow advice and not do what he says and I'm going to ignore him and I'm going to not answer the questions, right? Guess who's, that's dumb. I'm going to die, right? That's, you're an idiot. But in sales, when you're selling IT services and solutions, if you don't take control and don't position yourself this way, this is what's going to happen with prospects. And it actually, in the end, hurts them as well as hurts you, okay? So here's some signs you're out of control, right? Or not in control. The prospect starts hammering you with questions, interrupting you, and not allowing you to lead, okay? That's a sign that you're either, you got to get the heck out of there because there are some cases where people are just, they're not reasonable and you know, you can't, you shouldn't be wasting your time with them. All right. But this is one sign. They refuse to meet with you. They say, Hey, just work with my office manager. They, they send you off to an underling. Okay. That's a sign. They don't perceive you as a trusted authority. All right. They refuse to allow you to run diagnostics or do proper analysis. They say, no, no, no just give me a quote. No, I don't need all that. That's a sign that they don't respect or trust you. Demands to know the price or terms before you've even asked any diagnostic questions or delivered your presentation. So you've got to control the sales process where they can't be leading. You're the one asking the questions. You're the one who's pacing and leading, not them. And if it's not to say that they don't ask questions. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that when somebody tries to take control of the sales process and tries to take it away from you by running the meeting, Again, they don't respect you. They don't trust you. They don't see you as an authority and your chances of closing the deal and actually helping that person go down. If they're being difficult, if they're being rude, they've refused to answer questions or are giving you glib answers, or they're not paying attention or listening or refuse to follow your process. So they say, you know what? Just email me that proposal. You don't need to come out here. Just email it to me. See, these are all signs that you've lost control. And this means you have not positioned yourself properly from the very beginning, because this starts at the very first interaction with the prospect. It's not something that you build over time. You start right away. You got to take control. They got to see you as a trusted authority expert. And that's based on your tonality. That's going to be based on your confidence. That's going to be based on your process. That's going to be based on how you handle yourself. Right. And if you just kind of show up and it's you don't have a process and you don't have a lot of confidence in your tonality, you've never trained your tonality and you just show up and throw up and you do whatever. Guess what? They're going to see right through that. They're going to sense that you're not an, a, an expert and they're going to dismiss you. They're going to lie to you. They're going to um, run all over you like you see here. And this is something you got to get a handle on right away. All right. You're not a servant. You're there to be a trusted, respected authority. Yes, you're serving them, of course. I don't mean that you're not serving them. But what I'm saying is you can't serve somebody if you can't lead them and you're the expert on this, all right? So you gotta take control and perceived, it's, it's perceived power. Do they see you in that way or do they not? <laughs>